Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe and today we're about to start a brand new gameplay together. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, I put up a poll uh, asking you guys what kind of science fiction game would you like me to play. So by popular demand, it was Prey. So it was, a, it was definitely a very uh, good list of uh, science fiction games. I had Prey, I had Detroit Become Human, Bioshock, as well as Mass Effect Andromeda, and you guys wanted to see me play Prey. So, I actually have never played this game at all before, seen no gameplay of it whatsoever. So this will be a fantastic new experience for me, and I'm excited to share this with you guys as well. So this game was made by Bethesda Studios as well as Arcane Studios, and what, what brought me the idea of putting Prey on that ballad was, if you guys have seen my Evil Within 2 playthrough, I found an easter egg of that symbol that's on the bottom left hand corner of the screen on a coffee mug and I've heard nothing but good things about this game so I'm definitely excited to get into it and the fact that we're introducing some science fiction onto Gotham Lounge and I'm excited for that too. So we are entering my apartment. We wake up in our apartment, it's the year 2032, holy moly. So how old will I be at 2032? Uh, I'm just trying to do the math in my head. I'll be like close to 50, I think. Oh my god. Will I be able to keep up with everything? Probably not. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Come on, loading screen. I'm excited to play. <laughs> Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, the shades are opening. That is bright, but that's a beautiful picture. <laughs> helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, well, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. First day on the job, new objective. I'm just kind of grabbing everything. I'm gonna make sure I get in the habit of not um, grabbing everything because I don't want to get encumbered. Let's just look around. This is a pretty sweet uh, penthouse we live in. Whoops. Just flush the toilet for no reason. Nothing in the trash can. Nothing there. We have a magazine. The method sigh. It's not really prompting me if I'm learning anything by reading these. The heart of the walk. Must be a cookbook. Why did I have the lights on in my oven? More cooking. Oh, hold on. This is no. Congrats, Morgan. Alex. Sparkling wine. Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. I'll take that apple or the pomegranate and I'll take the green tea. All right. I'm going to work drunk. <laughs> I like the uh, first person aspect. Definitely a lot of uh, Fallout feels, definitely a lot of uh, Bioshock feels. Morning, Mr. Yu. Good morning. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Hold on a second, guys. Let's 
Let's make sure that worked. <sighs> there we go. All right. I want to make sure I have the subtitles on. We're going to the roof. Oops. Took me a little bit to get used to the controls. I mean, jumping up will get me to the roof, right? Roof access. Oh, sweet. I would love to get a helicopter ride to work. This is pretty sweet, guys. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 There's degrees, clear skies sense. all the way. Wish it was 78 here in Boston right now. <laughs> Man, this is... graphics are really amazing so far. Very panoramic. I don't know what city we're in, but I'm digging this. Yeah, I'm digging this music, too. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yeah, that is. That's gorgeous. I'm taking the sights. Mountain top over there. Oh yeah, there's the symbol I found on the coffee bar back during my uh, evil YouTube playthrough. And here we are, about to land on the helipad. And starting this playthrough. Hooray. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass right. on the way out. Good luck to you. Watch the glass. Report to the test center. We're at the Transtar testing facility. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. I confirm. Well, oh, that is dropping fast. What floor is this on? 71st. Morgan, finally. I made it. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu? They're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Another Method Sci magazine. Here we are. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me. You're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Press the red button. You're absolutely fine. I did what you uh, asked. Let's move on to room B, then. Moved all the boxes from the circle. Now what? 
Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Oh, that's a Hit the that's red a button when you're ready to start. Do your best to hide. What are you supposed to do? Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? Test That's is fine. rigged. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I hid behind a chair because there's no place else for me to hide. All right. Here we go. For this test, Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. So all I have to do is just go from this side of the room to that side. Looks it. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? I'm doing what you asked me to do. exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I can hear you. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. All right. The fourth testing room. Oh, guys, remember when I had wine before taking the test? Yeah, don't ever do that in real life. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. I'm okay, to Morgan. Sit. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Way ahead of you, dude. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Planning on a vacation, go some go somewhere familiar you know you love or try Whatever something you're ready, new. Morgan. Something new. Good. Be Looks extravagant. Like you got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Calm, it was worth it. Angry, no one has that right. Afraid on the what will happen. I would probably not know what will happen. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can Cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied. What the heck? That's messed up. I guess I'll switch tracks. Good. Next. Well, a runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're staying on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. I. That's also messed up. I'm gonna. I guess push the fat man to stop the train oh by all God. means. Another runaway train one. A runaway train is bearing down a five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump onto the tracks, push the fat man, do nothing. Probably jump. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a what moment, the? I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee. Okay. I see the image, but I saw something else. Yeah, oh, man. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> Why'd you gas me? What the heck? Alex. Sir Mons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th. 
2032. Is it resetting? I'm pretty sure it was this day the last time I woke up. stuff I grabbed is back in place. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Danger leave now, danger leave now. They all say the same thing. Everything that these guys drop, at least as of yet. Um. Actually, wait, hold on. Because this door is open too. Can't carry anything.
Oh, thank you for conveniently leaving your password right in front of your computer. Oh, keep hitting the wrong button. safe. I don't know what the password is. The password I got was just for that computer. wrench. When in doubt, hit it with a wrench. It's decontamination. Let's see what's over here. I don't really know where I'm going, because there's not really any waypoint or anything telling me where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Finding these organs, but what am I going to do with them? I guess I'll take another wrench. I can control that, apparently. Tubing, there's nothing inside the crate. Wash the glass. Whoa, what the? That was not there before. All of a sudden, the scene just changed out there. since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Now the door opens. Okay, where do those go? They like split in several different places. Search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. So this message says, Hey, I think Bellamy's 
taking data related to the mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone tries to find that data. Sorry for swearing, but that's what it actually says. All right, that must be a side quest. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by finding a key card or finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Well, all right. We can harvest the plants inside of these things. Okay. Um... No idea what that error message is supposed to be about. Why would I want crumbled paper? More emails. Don't see anything noteworthy? Something to walk for. Well, where's the mimic? It was just nearby. Oh, I need to find a key card. Alright, well, gotta find another way. What the? So let's throw a mug over here. Yeah, there it is. It just ran this way. Oh, it was thrown. It was hiding inside the mug. Alright, where is the supposed key card? Oh. Found it. Dwarf Red Cosmos. Those. Oh, now what? Another, another minute. with a wrench. Oh, there's another one. Did I stun it? Like, it didn't even move. Yeah, we want to unlock it. Alright, let's go. What are you? Why am I standing so close to it? That was a phantom. An anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. There. I just ate a random apple. I like repair stuff. Okay. Um. Think for a minute. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling something was uh we have a glue gun. There's a bunch of canisters here too. Okay. I want to make sure I'm getting my uh, quick options ready. There's another mimic. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a couple of them. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Neuromod. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Everything you know is about to change. New objective. Pick up the Neuromon. Well, there are mimics all over the place. The stand guy. Ah! ah! Just like that. Yeah. I'm not doing any damage to this thing. Where'd it go? Okay, 
okay, this is the Neuromod he was talking about. Take that. The Neuromod is a revolutionary trans invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Oh, okay, so this is our upgrading uh, schematic. Now, what do I want to do first? What do I think is more important? Increase your health and your stamina. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint a lot faster. Conditioning probably would be ideal. Yeah, let's do that. How does, how does this work, though? What the? Oh my god! And I just got a trophy, know thyself. I'm sure oh my god, I just got a who wish they had stronger, kind of faster worthy. bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. My health has upgraded. Oh, another medic. When in doubt, hit it with a wrench. It was carrying 9mm bullets. Ah, there's another one. Ugh. These guys do just a lot. I'd like to know what these organs do. I can't grab the tumor. Actually, can I grab water? Yes. Only increase the health slot by one, but that's fine. I'll take it. Can I take anything else? Or am I... Oh, yeah. I'll take those. It looks like we can take this, too. Harvesting some plants. Stop breaking everything. Something's gonna jump out at me at, like, any second. Robert? Alice, thank God, no one else is- Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't- Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's- What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Eating these things with a freaking wrench. I can't do anything with the tumors. The skill recording room. No idea what that is. But we're being told to go into the lobby. Favorites wheel. Okay. Let's go. Go into the lobby. I like the loading screen. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 
uh, it's like waiting for an elevator waiting on this loading screen. Even though I just said two seconds ago, it's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Mysterious contact named January is guiding you to the main lobby of this facility. Thanks. Tell me something I don't know. Come on, all the way. Oh, that's a pleasant sight. Right, so I can go back there if I need to. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Took a super pair kit and a med kit. one lobby. That's cool. That looks like a moon. So loud. So close to it, too. And the hole just blew up on the side of that Careful. building. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Alice 1 is open to you to explore from the lobby. You can reach all the parts of the space station via bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby anytime you want to play object well play optional objectives. Which I likely will do. Okay, now I have a uh, waypoint right there. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Uh, I mimic. <laughs> We need to find. Well, we have a glue gun. I think we're gonna need something a little stronger than that. What am I gonna do with a lemon peel? That turret coming from me. It's a banana peel, too. Oh. Learn circuit board and MP EMP charge. Start shooting me. That's hard. Just drank an energy drink. I think the turret actually just shot that. Nice. I got a trauma center key card, which I think was one of the optional objectives that popped up. Definitely look into that for enough.
I have no idea if I'm even supposed to be taking these. I'm just taking everything I see. The main left. Okay. Um, that's, I don't think that's where we want to go. Our office is actually on the upstairs level. Of course! Another damn boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them. Ah. Oh, I'm not doing too well. Alright, hold on. What the heck? Hold on. How do I get to my inventory? Upstairs. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's use... Let's go ahead and use a med kit. And we can probably use... Not eat the pomegranate. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'll take the used cigar. Another mimic. Now, one of the mimics back downstairs had shotgun shells. What do you have? Biohazard waste. What am I gonna do with that? That's the trauma center. Wait a minute, I thought what I just picked up was the trauma center card. Oh, all right, I'll figure that out. Eat that apple. Okay, and I have another trauma center key card. Now can I go inside? It's the teleconferencing center. I have no idea where the trauma center is. There's a turret right there. I hope it doesn't start. Eat a banana. OMG hot boss, that's your password? Oh my god, how do you still have a job? <laughs> Key code to my own office. How do you have the password to my own office? Oops. No. Zero. Four. Five. One. Okay. My office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Eat that apple. And just trust it won't kill me. Far too fast one. Am I even learning any, anything out of these books? 
my sweet key card. A wrench fabrication plan. Spare parts, corroded coil, burnt circuit board. Oh, you can recycle stuff. So if you have stuff you don't need, you can just throw it in there and turn it into something else. I presume. Nice, I got the teleconferencing key card. I have a safe. Oh, I have a safe. Yes. I can't harvest that. Alright, the video file should be here. Got some neuromods. You made it. Question mark. Okay. All right, this is the video. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Good morning, Tyler. Warning. Careful with administrative controls and work stations will keep out no results in electric time. Oh! If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help away to security. Is this one supposed to be watching? Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. Someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Oh, what? Connection lost. Every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Something sounds a little fishy. Now what do I do? Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Through a glass darkly. Access Dr. Calvino's workshop. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually end the episode right here. So thank you guys. I think I'm actually gonna really uh, like this game so far. It's, it definitely feels very uh, uh, in depth as far as the story. And I love the graphics and I love all these uh, different options you can do. Like there's just so much to do. It seems like this building may just be like a small confined space, but there's stuff everywhere. You can interact with everything. But these mimics that they call them just jump out at you from wherever. So there's no telling of where things are. What, or, yeah, exactly. I'm getting my words all mixed up, but you know what I mean. So let me just grab this. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Prey here on Gotham Lounge. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Prey here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.